Once the market has reached one of our areas of interest, we need an entry trigger. Just like we needed a pattern to find the zone of interest, we need a pattern to get into the market when it's time to. Hey there, John Henry here, Slingshot Futures Trading Group, SSFTG. I hope your trading has been strong so far this week. Today, I wanted to take some time to go over the speed indicator that you see at the bottom of my screen, or may have seen right down here. Now, the speed indicator in the bottom of my screen there really is nothing more than just a fancy volume chart. It's, it's something that everyone can use, and it's a huge help for finding entry timing. The chart itself is a one-second chart with nothing but a volume indicator on it. Instead of volume bars, though, it's plotted like a line graph, or what we would call our speedometer. So if you notice, I drag the indicator down a little bit so you can see there's actually price bars behind there. Uh, within those price bars, you just drag this up and now all we have is our volume. And the volume is just plotted as a line instead of a bar. One of the big reasons why I like the speed indicator, the speedometer that we have down there, is to show us when the market is striking, when the market's volume is really starting to pick up speed. And the best time to look for that is when we're looking for an entry trigger. We've waited for the market to get to a major zone of interest. Maybe we're looking to sell a measured move to the upside. But we don't know when that sell side opportunity is going to show up until we see the volume demonstrate. Really interesting zone setting up here where we've got a, a big old bear drop to the downside and a bull bar attempting to come back up. If we can stack this with another bear bar down and an increase in speed, it's likely that this move up was nothing more than a break even for sellers to try to slam this thing back down again. All we need is that trigger. We're watching the speedometer. We've got the nice bear bar. They're starting to pick up a little bit. We just need that jump in speed as proof. That's what we're waiting for right now. Can they give us the jump for proof? Looking for proof. Nice little pulse to the upside there. Really, really nice volume drive to the upside. Big volume stacking up. See if I can get a slightly better price before the drop here. We have the cue. We have the clue. We have everything we need. They're offering up some slightly better prices. Let's see if they offer anything or if they're just going to break away. The speed is obviously jumping up quite a bit faster here. Usually when the speed fires off, they're not going to give you too many more opportunities to get better prices. Speed's kicking off again. More downside movement. There's the breakout move. Beautiful drive down and a fantastic example of why I love using the speedometer. Now again, could this trade go a little bit further? Sure. But a lot of it fired off with the speedometer giving us the clue that that's when the scales were tipping. And that's why it's such a useful indicator. Again, it's nothing more than a glorified volume chart, but the way that it's being implemented in, in this way it gives us an entirely new look on how the market moves and shows us when the time to strike is and when we already have the wear locked down. That's really all we need. If you're looking for a way to join me and the rest of the VIB crew during the U.S. morning session from 9 to lunchtime, make sure to register for a one-week free trial right on the main page of SSFTG. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the room. You can shoot me an email, jhb at ssftg.com. You can drop them in the comments below the YouTube video here. There are a ton of different ways to get a hold of me. You know where I'm at. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.